Bruno, welcome to the UK. Um, I understand this is your, your first time here. How much are you enjoying it so far? Um, I enjoy, but not much because uh, I have been some uh, some country have a cold like I see in the, in the UK. But I enjoy because uh, I'm coming for the working. I'm coming for the big fight for me. So yeah, I enjoy for a couple of days. It's it's the middle of summer in Australia, so it's a little bit different for you. Yeah, a little bit different. <laughs> a little bit different. Uh, you'll get used to it. It'll be fine. Thank you. Um, how big a, an opportunity is this for you? This fight. Uh, yeah, this is a big opportunity for me. Uh, I've been dreaming this one from a long time, you know. Uh, uh, I'm start, I'm, I'm, I'm come from, from nothing. I'm start a uh, long time, my career started in Tanzania, but after I have opportunity, some my manager get, uh, I find the manager from uh, Australia, and then he, I leave, I move to Australia to build in my career, and then keep fighting in Australia. And then that would then make me keep going and keep going. And then this today I have this big fight. That's good for me. That's, I'm very excited for this. Tell me about life in Tanzania when you were, you were younger, when you were starting out. What was life like and, and how did you um, start in boxing? Um, my life when you're younger, lucky. I'm, I'm born for the poor family, like real, real poor family and nothing, nothing to eat, nothing to worry, clothes, shoes, nothing. And um, yeah, my mom, she, my mom and my dad, they couldn't have much money for look after me. So just people, they, they take me and then they try to uh, help me from to my mom. And I started to look after myself when I'm, I'm 10 years old because my mom, they can look after me. I'm just going in the city, just working hard job to try to find money to help my mom and my brother. I have two brothers. Start to keep going, keep going. And then in, I think in 2013, I was just to walk some on the beach because I like, I like training when I'm young, just to like fitness. And then someone looked at me and then he said, Bruno, if you do boxing, it might change your life. And I say, really? Because yeah, I was, I never know about boxing before. I, I used to follow boxing. I was watching Mike Tyson, my forever, just watching, but I don't know nothing about boxing. Just looking at Mike Tyson fighting. Yeah, I start, soon he tell me, like, I just walk in the gym, and then I say, please, can you train in boxing? People say, no, you, you can't, uh, that. They kick me out, but I keep going, and then I start a training. I start training one week, and then next week I have a fight professional. I never fight before. I never have amateur. So no amateur no fights amateur at all, all. straight into it. Straight to the professional, and then my first fight. I just because yeah, I don't know nothing about like ref. You have to punch in, and you can't punch in the back. You can. I just punch him everywhere. So you didn't know the rules or anything? I don't know the rule, nothing. I just punch him everywhere. So I stopped in that guy for first, second round, I think. My career started there. I keep fighting. I was fighting in Tanzania back there. I was fighting like every, every month. I fight one fight, two fight. I keep going. Keep going, no stop. Yeah, so that one make me to no give up and then I, I fight I fight him for no get any pie. I go back home I, because he, I, I have a wife who to 2014. I have a wife and my my wife she say why you keep fighting? You don't get pie, you come home, you have problem everywhere, fix your problem and nothing pie. You don't have if you one dollar to buy pana. I say don't worry, one day, one day I'm gonna make money. And the big opportunity yeah. came when you, you went to Australia to fight Bilal Dib. Bilal Dib, and yeah. that's my first time to go different country. Go there, fight with Bilal Dib. God help me. I'm always believe God. I'm very, I'm, I'm not good Christian, but I believe God. God, he always uh, find me good opportunity. He was, I was with this uh, opportunity from long time, and then God he said, this is your time. I think he was in 2000, uh, I can't remember. Yeah, 18, and then go Australia. I won love fight. Love fight open all doors, and that's I'm one now. 
People say you have a very exciting style, uh, all action. Is that, would you agree with that? Do you, do you think that's how you fight? Sorry? Your, your style of fighting, it's, people say it's very exciting. Do you, do you agree with that? Yeah, I agree. I used to, because when I was in Tanzania, I couldn't have like gloves and everything. I couldn't have a gym coach, I just working hard in the, by myself, running a lot. I used to run a lot. And soon I get to Australia, I find a gym, big gym on all the stuff. See? Great coach, yeah, training with good fire to Malone's there, all the fire. So that one, when I see them there, because I want to improve, I keep looking at them, I have a good coach, and then they make me another new style, keep going, pressure style. That's, that's I, I love the style because their style it make me to keep going, fighting with good fighter. There are some people that say, oh, you're not smart, you know, like that. It's okay, but I keep winning, keep going. Say thank you, God. And you're in with a good fighter this weekend in, in Zelfa Barrett. Yeah. How much have you been able to, to watch of him? What, what do you think of him as a fighter? Well, Zelfa is good. He's a good fighter. He's a very good fighter. I look him, I look all of all the fight he's fighting. So uh, um, I respect him. But, you know, like I say, I have a dream. I have a dream to be world champion. So that dream is going to help my mom, my dad, my whole family. I stay away with my, my kicks. I have two kicks. One is seven years old, and my daughter, she's uh, four. I didn't see them like two years. I didn't see my mom. So <clears throat> I think this is a good opportunity for me. But like I say, I respect him. He's, he's good. He's very good, but my coach, we get gym. After we get the fight, we get gym. We're working for him. I think he's going to be a good show. I'm coming for win. That's what I know. And how do you feel about coming to fight in his home city? Because all the support will be for him. Does that bother you at all? No, because he, you know, it doesn't matter how you're fighting, you're fighting home because he, the judges, they're looking who he score good. So it doesn't matter how loud, because me, I don't care about loud, whatever people, it doesn't bother me. Just uh, I'm coming to do the work, and then judges, then the end of the day, it doesn't matter how people they are doing loud, the judges, they're going to say, he won, he won, that's it. So do you feel as if you, you need to make sure that you get a, a knockout in this fight to make sure that there are no questions? Uh, if no care coming, say thank you, God. But I'm, I'm, I'm coming for win. I don't know about no care about nothing, but I'm coming for win. And if you were to get a win in this fight, what would that do for your career? What would happen afterwards? Do you think this help will change more, uh, change a lot my life, change a lot my life, and keep uh, and make me to walk walk, walk upstairs from my dream. I'm gonna help my mom and my dad. And hopefully you'll be able to see your family again soon? Yeah, yes, definitely. We're gonna have good Christmas and uh, uh, we're gonna have a celebrate for win and Christmas. We wish you the best of luck, Bruno. Thank you for speaking to us. Thank you so much, appreciate it.